Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to be uh, building a view which can essentially show all the blog posts in our database and also show each blog post in its own page. So let's get started writing. To start writing our own um, page for each blog post, let's first go to URLs and give that thing a URL. So to begin with, let me add a path in my urls.py and uh, let each page be available at a path called post slash the post ID. So if I go to post slash one, I'll see the first blog post. If I go to post slash two, I should be able to see the second blog post and so on and so forth. So to do that, I'm going to pass the URL parameter int because every ID is essentially an integer. And then I'm going to say post underscore ID and put add and in the put a trailing slash. After this, I'm going to essentially connect this to a view that essentially handles this and I'm going to call this post underscore page. Of course, I haven't written this yet, but I'm just going to type this along here anyways. So I'll go here. Uh, let's get rid of this greet uh, path because we're not going to be using it anymore and replace it with post underscore page. So now I've given it an endpoint where each pay, each blog post will be seen. So I can be like post slash one, post slash two, and that will be handled by this view called post page. Now let's go to a views.py. I'm going to get rid of this greet function and then write a new function, define post underscore page. Uh, remember the name needs to be the same. It takes the first argument always as a request. And we are also going to pass the post ID that we defined here as URL parameter to this. So I'm going to be like post underscore ID. So that's all for the parameters. Now we can start handling this. To understand that we are going to get this post ID successfully, I'm just going to print it here, post underscore ID. And then finally, return render a page, which is going to render the page. I'm going to be call it post.html, which doesn't exist at this point of time. But let's go to templates, right click new file and create a file called post.html which is what that this view will return. So I'm just gonna fill this in very quickly with some head title is going to be, so the title of this is going to be whatever uh, is the post title. I'm going to pass a post object to this template and uh, plug the title of that here. And to pass the post object, I, I need to first fetch that post object. So now let's do that based on the ID. We saw in the CRUD operations video how to fetch an individual post from the database. So I'm going to be like post is equal to blog post dot objects dot get primary key is equal to post underscore ID that we have gotten from our URL parameters. But for this to work, we have to ensure that blog post is already imported at the top. So now let's do that. So I'm going to say from models or rather from blog dot models import blog post because uh, the blog post exists inside the blog folder uh, inside the models script uh, that is where blog post exists so i'm going to say from blog dot models import blog post once i've done that now i can utilize it here i have fetched it from the database and used it here now I need to pass this as context to my template so that I can use it and render uh, interesting things in the template. So now let me pass that as a context. So uh, the context is essentially a, a dictionary with a set of key value pairs that needs to get plugged into the template. So in this case, I'm just going to call it post, which is the key and the value will be the post object itself. So the, there is no prerequisite condition that the key and value should have the same name or variable as such. So I can be like, this can be something else. So I can be like uh, uh, selected post just for the demonstration. So you can be like selected post and what I'm passing, what will be the selected post is a post that I have fetched based on the post ID the user has used. So now I'll be referring to the post that we have gotten as selected post in our HTML file. So the title of the page is going to be the selected posts dot title because that's what the attribute is then in my html body i'm going to quickly um, type in the h1 so i'm going to be like selected post dot title and the body is going to be essentially in a div and i'm going to call it or oh, let's call it a p tag because 
all of it is uh, essentially is text so I'm just going to be like selected post dot content and finally we also have uh, the timestamp when the post was created so let's add that as well so for that I'm going to add a horizontal ruler and before the ruler I'm just going to be like p tag and I'm just going to say published and inside the flower brackets I'm going to be like selected post dot created so now let me just quickly explain what we're doing here so we are using something called as Jinja templating to plug values into this HTML file and the way we plug values into HTML is using these flower brackets so what's going to happen is that inside a view when we say return render request post.html the render function will first receive post.html and as it passes through the post.html line by line it is going to encounter these curly braces when it encounters these curly braces it's going to try to plug these things into the place where the curly braces appear so when we say selected post.title it's going to first search for the selected post in our context dictionary so the dictionary is what we have here and it's going to search it by key name so when i say selected post it oh it found the selected post and when we do selected post.title it is essentially going to do dot title on the post object that we have passed here so whatever post we have fetched it's going to do dot title dot content and dot created on the post that has been passed and which essentially means that you need to essentially pass the context here before actually using it in the template so now let's quickly go and check if this thing is working so now i've written all uh, the things uh, first I created an endpoint and connected that endpoint to my post page view the post page view is written here in my views.py it takes the request and the post ID and I printed the post ID to just be sure that we are getting it right and we can see it in the command prompt then I'm fetching the post using the get uh, method that we saw in our CRUD operations and then finally we are passing that post object to our context and that context is plugging those values into the HTML so now I'll quickly go to the command prompt and run my server so now I can go to the browser and uh, go to the uh, our endpoint essentially is post slash its ID so if I'm going to go post slash one it should just show me the first post and if I'm going to show post slash two, because post slash two doesn't exist, it should throw me an error. So post slash two does not exist, so it's throwing me an error, but post slash three exists, post slash four should exist. So now we have successfully created our own each blog post. Of course, we have not done styling, but that's beside the point at this point of time, we are only focused on the functionalities. And guys, that's how you actually pass a URL parameter and fetch respective content by writing only a single template but dynamically loading the content into that template hope this was very useful see you in the next video